Hi, I'm Chef Carla Miguel. I'm the culinary director for Cloud Eats. I'm the vice president of the LTV Philippine Chefs Association, an internationally accredited world chefs judge, and I've been a chef for over 25 years. Today, I'm here to talk to you about how I ensure quality as we shift towards delivery. Being the culinary director of a company that handles the largest cloud kitchens in the country, delivery is our bread and butter. Firstly, let's talk about restaurants. A restaurant is traditionally a place where one goes to be restored. It is more than just being about the food. It also is about the ambience and the service. When you combine this with the food, it gives the restaurant its own life force. To translate this life force to delivery is very challenging. For traditional restaurants, this might be a little easier because a good percentage of the customers have been to them before, so they know what to expect. For cloud-based restaurants, this can be a lot more challenging. Through all the changes that the food and beverage industry has been through in the last couple of years, the customer is still looking for a quality product at a reasonable price served in a timely manner. Around 80% of customers state that the taste of food is the main reason for them choosing a restaurant. So that means your products have to taste great. The best place to start is to make sure you're getting the best quality produce and the freshest ingredients available. A great way to do this is to form good relationships with your suppliers so you get good products at a great price. Personally, I'm always asking my suppliers what they have new as this fuels my R&D. All great chefs continue to improve their dishes and recipes over time. It's important to look at your menus and menu items objectively and push yourself and your staff to make them better. For example, I've been making sourdough bread at home for a year now. I don't sell it yet because I don't believe it's good enough. You have to keep researching and experimenting until you are satisfied with your product. Another great example is the process of making the burger patty for Burger Beast. This was a process that I worked on for three to four years until I was truly happy with it. Now it's one of our best selling items. So what I'm trying to say is that perfection doesn't exist but striving for it is what makes us truly great. There's no point in working so hard on the product if you don't calculate your food's optimal shelf life and simulate the delivery process. This will help you test your dish's viability for delivery. It is so important to simulate the delivery process as it gives you insight to what the customer will experience. I do this regularly and honestly, I always change my name in the platform so the restaurants and the kitchens, they don't know it's me that's ordering. So I get the true customer experience. This process will dictate which dishes are best suited to the delivery format. Now, once you've assessed which dishes are suitable for delivery, you have to test and innovate your packaging and decide which works best for you and your dishes. There's no point working so hard on the taste and quality of your food if it arrives disheveled, soggy, or cold. You have to really look at the packaging you use and how to innovate it to suit you. So for example, at Cloud Eats, we were using delivery boxes for our fried chicken and wings that didn't have any vent holes. So the food was arriving soggy, not very nice. What I did was I talked to my suppliers and asked them if we could put a couple of strategically placed vent holes, which allowed us to let the steam escape during the delivery process. Now, all the wings and fried chicken arrive crispy, juicy, and delicious. Another great example was at Burger Beast, we used to wrap the burgers completely in greaseproof paper. This meant that the burgers were arriving steamed and soggy and the lettuce was just a mess. What we do now is we use burger sleeves, which are open at one end, which allows a lot of that steam to escape. And now the burgers arrive in fantastic quality. And Burger Beast is one of our best selling brands. You should also pack your dishes with the same care as if you were plating up in a restaurant situation. You know, chefs, they're always looking for a way to express their artistic side and their creativity. 
So just because you're using takeout boxes instead of plates doesn't mean you can't make the food look beautiful. This really shows the customer that you care and helps you bring your restaurant environment or life force into their living rooms. Once you've got your food in order, you have to communicate this with your customers now by addressing how you present online and in the platforms. This is your first point of contact with the customers, so you have to look professional and smart. Professional photo shoots make you stand out from the pack and give you great social media presence. We always get our food shots and even sometimes lifestyle shots done professionally. Like what we did for our Rian Ramos brand and also the brand we did with the Norwoods Aloha Eats. Even I had to go to the studio to get photo shoots done for my brands, Burger Beast and Chef Carlo's Country Chicken. These shoots give your brand an identifiable identity. Descriptive menus give the customer an idea of what you have on offer. It also entices them to buy or select certain dishes from certain restaurants. Professional website design helps you communicate from kitchen to ordering platform to customer. This makes it easy for the customers to order and for your company to close that sale. I'm actually a very big believer of third-party aggregators. Restaurants are always complaining about the large commissions these aggregators take. You have to use them as your main source of marketing, then you can maximize their worth. By opening up streams of revenue that may, you may not have already had or improving ones that you have existing. Now that your customers know how to order from you, you can use your own food as a marketing tool by creating promotions to make your establishment stand out among other restaurants. Try creating dishes that are available by delivery only, like secret menus or delivery only exclusives. You should also identify your hero products by placing these best sellers and desirable dishes at the center of your marketing efforts. You should be able to create strong brand identity, like what we did with the Umami Burger for Burger Beast. Lastly, you should always listen to your customers as they are your best resource for improvement. Not enough chefs and restaurateurs do this, which is such a shame because it costs you next to nothing. A good example of this is that we were always focused on creating delicious comfort food for the market. But because of the pandemic, customers really started asking for healthier options. So we began to develop healthy concepts. Now our healthy department is the second best seller behind My Burger Beast. I hope this was helpful and informative to you. Thank you so much.